in distinct honor to propose a vote of thanks now on behalf of the recipients of the awards. I thank Mr. Nathan Shan and the editor Tirichelvam, staff and management board of Tamil's Information Magazine for the great honor bestowed on us. I am sure that all the awardees will take this honor as an encouragement to pursue their service in different fields with renewed energy and commitment. Since many of us here and outside are involved in the creative process, I would now like to share some of my experiences in the creative process. First, I found that there were many common aspects in my profession of teaching and research in communication engineering as well as in my writings about Tamil literature, music, language and grammar. One of my favorite quotes to my research students is one attributed to Dr. Samuel Johnson. He is credited with a famous devastating remark about a book he was evaluating. He said, your manuscript is both good and original, but the part that is original is not, part that is good is not original, and the part that is original is not good. This is exactly the same issue we face in creative work in any field. I found that challenging oneself sometimes brings out surprising results, which one would not have imagined otherwise. I had found this to be true in many instances in my life, not only in my research, but also in my hobbies. One example is writing articles about Sangam poetry. I related each poem to modern life with some humor and brought out a short story experience within the usual article format. Since this has never been tried before in Tamil literature, these article come short stories attracted a lot of favorable attention. Usually the creative process is divided into four stages. In the first stage, your brain gathers information. Think globally, act locally is a good concept to reinterpret in this context. In the second stage, one's mind wanders and our subconscious takes over. This is the stage where I found that my Tamil heritage helped in both my career as well as in my hobbies. The Tamil heritage for which Tamil language is a window serves to add a new dimension to your personality and aids you in ways you wouldn't have guessed before. Here's an example that comes to my mind. There is an Indian Tamil politician and vice chancellor of Annamala University who had gained worldwide fame for his command over the English language. Once, when he spoke extempore in English about a topic, an Englishman who was standing nearby asked him with wondrous eyes how he could speak so cogently about a topic and so well in a language which is not his mother tongue. The silver-tongued silver -tongued Sastri, as he was widely known, thought a little while and then he said, I suppose it is a 2000 years of culture and tradition behind me. That is what I meant when I said that our heritage adds a strong helping hand in everything we attempt. In the third stage of creativity, one makes connections between ideas. In the fourth stage, creative ideas are polished by critical thinking in order to reach the target audience. It is often said Every job is a self-portrait of the person who does it. So, autograph your work with excellence. Of course, our efforts, 
do not result in excellence always. There are just too many factors. But our aim at creative excellence is what is important. Our aim at creative excellence is that is important. As Valluvar says in Tirukkural, in a Tirukkural, a spear that is aimed at an elephant but misses its mark is more glorious than an arrow which is aimed at a rabbit and even hits it. The very fact that one aims at excellence makes us instinctively more critical of our own work and improves our effort enormously. Indeed, as they say, let us aim at the sky, then at least we can reach a treetop. These are just a few of the thoughts I want to share with you today. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Dr. S. Pasubadi, for those remarks. You know, I can sit here and claim for finishing on time, but 